Chris Hansen has spent over 10 years as a professional and is now enjoying life on the European tour. We met up with him at his local club, Woodsome Hall in Huddersfield, to get a few tips on how to improve your game on the course. So we're here at Woodsome Hall Golf Club. Um, we've got the luxury of using the fantastic indoor, indoor facility they have here. And uh, it's something I spend a lot of time in the winter, being able to get on a, on a good surface when, when the greens outside aren't quite as good. And a, and a big thing for me is keeping you, my practice very competitive, very structured. I have lots of little games what I do just so I don't lose any motivation and, and get bored practicing. So we're going to touch on one here which my, my coach Mark Pearson uh, created, which we call the swoosh drill. We have eight balls starting at five feet, working their way up through six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to twelve feet. Obviously the aim is to hold all twelve putts, but the key is to do it like you would on the golf course, to go through your routine, to line the ball up, to take your practice strokes and be really serious about holding these putts and, and it's not it's not a race and it's no it's no rush. So the good thing what's relevant to me on the tour is I, I work on stats from the strokes gained, which you see a lot on the PGA Tour. And just for example, from, from eight feet, 50% is the PGA Tour average, which I think shocks a lot of people. It's a quite simple task, but it's very relevant and it's something you can record. You can always record it. How many did you hold out of eight? How many did you hold out each time? And you can try and beat your, beat your, beat your own scores. And I think I've only ever hold eight out of eight once. So it's, it's not easy. And... Um, it does give you a little bit of pressure when you've hauled seven and all of a sudden you've got you've got one more to haul and before you go for your lunch and the pressure builds and, and you do feel it and it's as close as you can get to, to being on a golf course. So for me, I would never pick the, the short one and work my way through all the balls. I would always alternate, make sure I've missed out a ball. So you're never going from one ball to another one and just going off the pace of the putt you, you've just previously hit. So you could go from the six foot one to the, for the, to the 12 foot one, for example. Um, but the key is you're going through your routine. So for me, I always line the ball up um, with the line of the ball, which for me makes life a lot easier. I've chose the line, I've set my, my, um, the point where I'm trying to roll the ball over, match that line up to the line on my putter and for me, it makes total sense and uh, makes it a lot easier. So I would line the ball up, step into it as I normally would, take my practice strokes, move into the ball and try and hold the putt. And then move on to the next one. So a nice start. Like I said, I'd always miss out a few balls Never do two in a row. Like we say on a golf course, you only get one chance, and you never get the the same putt more more than once in once in a round of golf, really. So you has to try and really vary vary your practice and make it as tough as possible. So I've lined that ball up nicely. Great start. So now from long putt, I would go back to a short one. And just to finish off on this, line that up nicely. Just try and hold this one. So for me there, I held three putts, and now it's a great confidence building task from there, knowing that I hold any more putts and um, I put it in a great shape. 